Hey guys, welcome back. This is Simon Cox from Switcher Yachts uh, in Sydney, BC, and I'm aboard a Leonore. Uh, this is an 80 foot uh, Chuck Payne uh, built by Kelly Archer in New Zealand and uh, residing here in Sydney, BC. Um, if you've been by the fuel dock or the customs dock out here at Van Al Marina, uh, you may have seen this lovely boat um, tied alongside its, in its home slip. Um, yeah, welcome back. It's been a long time, but we are aboard uh, for a nice interior tour. We'll get back and do a, an exterior tour of the boat on a less rainy day. But uh, come along and let me uh, take you aboard and through the boat. Moving forward down to the main saloon. We're gonna go down four steps here to the lower level. Larger seating area to starboard. Navigation to port. I like the drawers for full size charts as well. We'll pilot berths, we'll set of bunks there. Beneath this floor, inside the bunks, is actually a treadmill. Get some exercise while underway or at sea. There's a small uh, washroom with integrated shower head there, sorry, um, for the bunks. And then a little TV in the, uh, in the storage closet here. And very generous galley down the starboard side. Some of the features here I noticed got the bar with an easy reach, top loading refrigeration. Dishwasher, four burner propane with oven, microwave oven, and upper and lower front loading refrigeration and washer dryer. Since we're back here, let's check out the master cabin. So this aft companionway leading to the aft deck and the and the transom, there's a separate entrance basically for for guests or owners. Large island queen and a single off to the uh, starboard side. A vanity or desk desk or workspace. Note in the cabins there are repeaters for the electronics as well for navigation. Pardon me. There we go, got my footing now. Um, little monitor there. And take a tour of the head. There we go. And this. It's on separate shower. And a couple overhead hatches for ventilation and light. The overall condition of the the boat is quite impressive for its age. Um, 
we're on nearly a 20 year old boat but it certainly doesn't look its age i love this feature in the main saloon all the daylight that's coming through those deck windows just another view of it here let's check out the forward cabins so entering the hallway to the starboard is a queen size Pullman berth or a very large double. This is its own private cabin with its with its own head, basin and toilet separate and a shared uh, so I guess Jack and Jill style uh, shower. And then heater and air conditioning controls uh, with the B&G repeater for your electronics. And then through this pass through there's a set of single bunks again with heater controls own, it looks like their own stereo and reading lights. Uh, moving forward again. So here's a, a ladder through a hatch up to the foredeck. And then into the port side forward head. And again with the shared, shared shower forward. And then back to the main salon. Take you through into the engine room. Alright, here's where the magic happens for a lot of folks. This is actually very impressive, just the amount of space that's provided in here. It's full standing headroom. Pretty much a full workshop. Here's the inverters and chargers. Fuel filters. There's the Cummins, uh, 330 horsepower main engine. Um, gen set below here. Refrigeration compressors. Hot water tank. Water maker. Here's the, the manifold that distributes all the, the drains and pickups of seawater all to one location. And nice little part storage. And back out. Well guys, thanks again for joining me aboard Leonor here at uh, Sydney, BC. Um, go ahead and comment or ask any questions about the boat. Happy to help you guys out and uh, looking forward to being back on a less rainy day for a, for a nice tour of the decks and possibly getting this boat out for a sale. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.